Hello guys, I'm about to play Resident Evil, the original from 1996. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Resident Evil. Today we are playing with Jill Valentine. I previously made a video and I was my first run with Chris Redfield. Now today we're gonna do Jill Valentine. Boy, it's been a while having played this game. <laughs> Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. What is this? Wow. What a mansion! There's Barry right there. Captain!
Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! Right now in the intro, Chris said, uh, we don't know where Barry is. He's right there. A dining room. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there.
those crows up there reminds me of the movie The Birds from Alfred Hitchcock. going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay, let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then.
serum. Oh no, I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Here's the serum! Richard, hold on! I'll give you a shot now! Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful.
the serum. All right, now we're going to the garden. I got everything I need, let's go. Oh, you motherfucker. Jill. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Anybody answer me. This is Brad. Brad. Brad.
work, Crank. Ah, oh, son of a bitch.
think I already did. Helmet key. Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. All right, here we go. I like the way it sounds when you step on them. Sounds like a bomb. <laughs> This is Jill. 
Brad? <gasps> it's broken. Testing like a sickness. You fuck. For now, I'm going to use the bazooka for right now. And the magnum. I'm going to save them.
Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? Okay, there's a trick here. You could either just go in there or wait until Barry gets here. If you go in there with, uh, without waiting, uh, it can change your status in the end. If you wait for Barry to show up, there's a 99% chance that he will be safe at the end. So, he already showed up. Now, okay. Hey! Now, are you there, Jill? My Grab ending will be rope. positive. I will have a positive ending. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Thank you. I'll take this then.
Now, you could go down there or just go to where to punch in that number. But I don't know. Maybe I should go through there or Oh, well. Now, nah, go down through here. talking about is where it's close to the other door where I got the red diamond. Battery. Just like Metallica. Battery. I don't know why I like to come into this room. Honestly, I don't know. There's nothing that I want. Just regular bullets and an ink ribbon, but I don't know. I have a feeling I have to come in through this room every time I pass through here. Ah, damn it.
wait, I forgot. Crank, we need the crank. There we go. Wait, wait, what the hell are you doing? Are you stupid? No, d open it again. I forgot to put the battery. Damn it. I have to go over there to put the battery. Yep. Now you can use the crank. Oh, Jill, what good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes! Enrico! So, Barry and Jill together. Are you alright, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ha! This is a hex crank.
One sec.
Jill! Jill! You're here, too! Yes, you're here, too? Look, uh, I lost my way. Let's get going. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of his house first. Jill! Guess what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. weapon? Oh, really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature.
I'm rude. I'm embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. What happened to Wesker? The triggering system has now been activated. <coughs> Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. Talk about it later. Let's get out of here.
once again, I beat this game. And I save everyone, Jill and Barry. It depends on your progress. If you say both, it's a good grade. And also depends on the choices, the decisions you make when you choose yes or no with Barry. For example, when he asked me if he wanted to go in front of me, I put no. Because if I would have put yes, he would have died. So in a way, I saved them. And I couldn't leave behind Chris either. That's why I got all three Pasco thanks to the ammo discs. say she was a 90s crush for me. The actress, Inesh, who plays Claire right here on the video game. She looks pretty though. One of my 90s crushes along with many other. Well, it was good playing once again this game. Like I was saying, it all depends on how you play. For example, when I first played this game, Barry dive during, during my gameplay, but I discovered how to save him with, pass the game without him dying. It depends on the mis decisions you make. For example, if you saw when I chose no, the answer, when he asked me if he wanted to go in front of me, I put no because if I would have put yes, he would have died. So that's why I put no, so because th that means I save him, which is good. Well, let's continue. See what I got. Special key. I'm going to put it down here. Alright guys. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one and thanks again for watching have a good day bye